Thank you, Tony. Tonight, friends, family, and even complete strangers remain heartbroken following a tragic weekend car crash that claimed the lives of four teenagers. Today, state police were back at the scene in East Bridgewater where a car slammed into a tree Saturday afternoon, killing four Stoughton High School students. The mother of one of the victims, 17-year-old David Bell, says she and her son's friends have been helping each other come to grips with the loss. Kids came by and all they wanted to do was go to his room. One kid came by and he just wanted to lay in his bed. Just wanted to smell his clothes and, you know, and some of the girls wanted to take a t-shirt that, you know, so um, that was good. It, they, they made me feel good that they loved him that much. And tonight we're hearing from others who never knew the victims but felt compelled to pay their respects. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Kalprin has the story. A vigil for the teens is taking place in town tonight. Between police and people coming by, the scene was still active two days after the crash. A growing memorial at the site of the deadly crash along Route 106. Notes on the tree the car slammed into, people stopping by throughout the day. I know God has them and they're up in heaven, but it's just such a sad, sad tragedy. The names of the four teens who died are written on a rock at the base. 17-year-olds Christopher Desir, Eric Sarbla, and David Bell, and 16-year-old Nick Joyce. Unbelief that poor young people would go so quickly. Rolly Susi is a former teacher. She didn't know these Stoughton High students, but has tragically lost students before. She says stopping by was her way of showing support. It will take a long time. It may never, never really completely heal. As the day went on, the pile of flowers grew. Police there as well continuing the investigation as people, even from other communities, came to pay their respect. No kids like should go through this. Like, there's many people who were important to them and they're just gone now. Paul Anderson is a high school student in Swansea where he says there was a moment of silence this morning. His mom wanted to bring him by. I wanted to teach my son, you know, that it is, show him how serious it is that, you know, it can happen. According to the DA's office, the 17-year-old driver is still in the hospital tonight. The exact cause of the crash is still under investigation. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. Thank you, staff. The Pinpoint News Tracker showing you the site of a deadly weekend crash on West Street in East Bridgewater. Today, we saw several people paying their respects at a memorial marking the spot where four teens from nearby Stoughton were killed Saturday afternoon. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern has reaction from a neighbor who lives just a few feet away from where the crash happened. Eric? Shannon, the exact cause of this deadly crash is still under investigation. That neighbor tells me the car went through at least two, two yards before hitting the tree where it finally stopped. At the same tree the car crashed into on Saturday evening, there's now a growing memorial. The names of the four Stoughton High teens who died are written on a rock at the base. It's just a horrible situation all over. People were stopping by for much of the day. It all happened along Route 106 in East Bridgewater, just one door down from Rocky Savino's home. Three big bangs. He was home on Saturday and says the car came through his yard, then through a neighbor's rock wall, then hitting that neighbor's front steps before smashing into the tree. Loud. Real loud. It's one, two, three that I heard, but the third one was the loudest. Surveillance footage of the site from a nearby business shows the wet roads. Video of the crash wasn't available, but minutes later, you can see the area flooded with first responders. The Plymouth County District Attorney says all factors from weather to speed are being looked into as the community continues to mourn. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Young kids. And according to the DA's office, the 17-year-old driver is still in the hospital. Live in the newsroom, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.